Hi, I'm Ben, and I'm here to talk to all of you tonight about your rectangle addiction. 98% of you are owners of televisions. Almost 70% of you went to the movie theater at least once in the past year. So what's wrong with the way you're consuming media? Well, Quentin Tarantino demonstrates the very real limitations of flat video every single time he goes to the movie theater. When Tarantino goes to the movies, he likes to sit in the very front row of the theater. He wants to be so close to the screen that everything that could distract him from the, the image and the story is completely removed. He wants to have a totally immersive experience. So I'm going to be talking about the word immersive tonight a lot, so I thought I'd give you guys a quick definition. Dictionary.com defines immersive as pertaining, noting or pertaining to digital technologies or images that deeply involves one's senses or, and also may create an altered mental state. So when Tarantino goes to the movies and he's sitting right in the very front row, he's not really having a truly immersive experience. He's simply sitting way too close to the screen, which as my mother always told me, would simply cause me to go permanently cross-eyed. <laughs> So where can one go to have a truly immersive experience? Enter the Digital Dome Theater. The Digital Dome Theater is a new, vid uh, totally uniquely immersive video and sound space, unlike any other cinema experience you've ever had, 3D or otherwise. So it's kind of hard to explain the dome unless you've been in the dome, but Jay Hines from the Moorhead Planetarium has this to say about it. We like to think of flat video as simply a window that we're, we get to peer through into another world. But with the full dome, we actually get to poke our heads up through that window and be completely immersed in that other world. So where can one go to have such a, an amazing, unique experience? Well, <clears throat> I said that already, didn't I? <laughs> so where are these theaters is what I meant to say. They're actually all over the place. They're just mostly hidden away in places like museums and science centers and universities. Um, in fact, there's probably over a thousand of these types of theaters and more every day worldwide. So what can you experience in the dome? Well, because of the location, much of the content is very educational in nature. Topics ranging from space, science, the environment are readily available, and these shows are amazing. But what really interests me being a creative person is a new wave of content being created. As I said before, the dome can create an altered mental state. And I think this is really attracting a lot of artists and filmmakers and musicians to create content specifically for the full dome medium. When working with a, such a brand new medium like the dome, I think it's very easy to do something completely unique. And I think that's what attracts a lot of creative people to this medium. So what kinds of things could you create in the dome? Well, how about a dance film where the dancers aren't simply confined to a two-dimensional screen in front of you, but instead are free to dance all around the audience, even taking giant flying leaps over the audience? Or how about instead of math simply being one of the most hated subjects in school, instead you have fractals and simulations exploding in beautiful color all around you, choreographed to amazing music? Or how about simply transporting your audience to places that human beings could never actually go, from the far reaches of the known universe to the inner depths of living organisms. So how does one, like yourself, get started creating content for the dome? It's actually very accessible and easy. There are a few methods. Uh, because you can't take any flat image and simply apply it to the dome as it would just become highly distorted, we have a few techniques. Probably the easiest technique is to simply use a camera with a full-frame fisheye lens. <clears throat> By capturing that 180-degree field of view or more, you're basically capturing an image that can be applied directly to the dome. <clears throat> one, uh, excuse me, one limit to this is the resolution. Uh, because many domes run at such a high resolution, we can't, a single camera can't record enough pixels. So we use multiple cameras. We uh, shoot at all different angles, and we stitch all those images together to create a fully spherical panoramic image. Um, if you're into 3D animation, there's actually tons of options. Most of the popular 3D packages, such as 3ds Max, Maya, Soft Image, or even the free one Blender, have either cameras or plugins built in that will allow you to render directly for the dome. So, Who's ready to start thinking outside the box and create and experience the newest revolution in video and art? Thank you.